is the beginning of a series for Dragon Dictation. Dragon Dictation is a very powerful software that Nuance has made, both for Mac and the PC. I'll be going through the Mac version for now, and I will get into the PC version on a later time. The, the program is very powerful, but you have to get used to using it. Its dictating is radically different than just talking. The computer doesn't understand everything that you and I understand. When I have a conversation with my wife, my friend, my boss, they know where one sentence starts and another sentence begins, and in their mind can put the punctuations together. With the computer, it doesn't know that. It knows what words are what. It doesn't really know what they mean. And so as you go through it, Dragon Dictation actually learns with you. I'm using Dragon Dictation 3, which is the latest version for the Mac. And it is a faster responding program. And it learns with you. That's the big key with Dragon Dictation is having it learn with you. Now, when you launch Dragon, it has a few training modes to go through. What I do recommend is I recommend you go through and actually continue your training with the actual program, as well as a microphone setup if you change your microphones out. Voice training, they have a bunch of different options to go through and a few different scenarios. As you can see, I've gone through two of them, as well as there's a few other ones that you, out of four you can go to. I really recommend going through them. They are worth your time. They take about eight minutes each. Now, when you open up Dragon on the Mac, it doesn't default on the dock. So I actually add mine to the dock down here. And as you can see, there's a translucent window up in the top right, letting you know kind of what's going on with Dragon. Where is it looking at? So it's kind of like a mouse. It has to be told, you know, it tells the computer, what am I doing? And as you can see, right now I don't have it turned on. And up in your menu bar, there's also another mic indicating that it's turned on. By clicking on the menu one or the little window, I can turn on Dragon Dictation. Go to sleep. As you can see, Dragon opens default with a text edit window. And you can see it automatically turns on and went what exactly I said. Now I gotta start putting in my punctuation. I can verbally tell the program to wake up or go to sleep so that way I don't have to use the mouse. In fact it's better not to use the mouse when you're actually using Dragon Dictation for editing or adjusting. It's better to actually use the program itself and I'll go through that. Wake up comma, and use Dragon to complete this message, period. Go to sleep. Now you can see over here in the bottom right, I have a recognition window. And what's nice is it can actually, you can hear exactly what you said, or I can actually choose one of these to get in here. Wake up. Wake up. Choose two. Scratch that. Complete this message. Choose three, period. New line, 
Dragging Dictation is very quick and also works in any text field available, period. New Paragraph. It functions in Microsoft Word, comma, Apple's Pages, comma, Text Edit, as well as Fields on the Internet, period. I can use Dragon to launch different applications as well without using my mouse, period. New Paragraph. Go to sleep. I'll actually cover a little bit more with Dragon specifically in different areas so that way it's not just one long video it's actually a couple short videos. Please leave your comments on what exactly you'd like to see. I'll be going everything through the dictation mode, the action mode that it can actually run using your computer without it which is great for if you are you know missing appendages, hands and also helpful for you know, some people with disabilities. Again, my name is Kevin from ThatGuyKnows.com. Please leave any suggestions you have for the next video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Have a great day.